the blower in this car doesn't work um, uh, that's this happened suddenly and I'm not sure I know what has gone wrong with it just started the car So, there's an indication that there is a problem with the blower. So, I'm going to try to fix that. This is the 40 amp relay that is responsible for powering the blower motor. So let's check it out and see what's wrong with it. The blower motor is located right underneath this panel. So I'm going to pull out this and check one or two things on it. Right here is the blower motor, and uh, this is the connector. Pull it up. Good. To confirm that power actually gets to the blower motor um, and not the signal, signal. Uh, I'll be reading voltage on this point. This is the white of blue cable, and that's what carries 12 volts to the blower motor. So I'm going to place my red probe on it and uh, look for a ground grounded point on the car and place the black probe. So red probe to this and then ground the black probe to somewhere this this is the ground I'm just going to turn on the ignition and do that real quick Ten point two volts. I need, and the other goes to the ground. So, next thing I want to do right here is to pull out the blower, motor's transistor, and resistor assembly. What you see, you can get to it by following this. Then, and there it is. There are two screws on it. First, I would like to I'll pull out the two screws and pull it out before removing the connector. So, I'll do that and I'll be back. Just got out the two screws. Just got out the two screws holding the transistor resistor assembly. 
unit however is still in so right here here you are that's it this assembly contains a transistor and a resistor which together supplies the control signal to the blower motor to regulate the fan speed so i'm going to get it out and carry out the test on it i eat sink and four connectors one two three four so i'm going to read resistance level between pin 3 and pin 4 pin 3 and pin 4 because this is a 2003 under a cord and it's a four door four cylinder system So this is an indication that the resistor in this assembly is bad. Here we are. I opened up the assembly and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to perform some soldering. I'm going to solder the ends because it appears there are some open circuits on it. I'm going to reinforce the solder points and um, let's see how that goes. Let's take over. Yeah, right here I have the one that I've worked on. Um, what I did was to open it up um, at this point and then there is a, mos a MOSFET. K2313. Um, I tested the MOSFET. It's it's good. It appears to be good. Um, then the thermal fuse, a two amp thermal fuse beside it. Um, that wasn't okay, so I replaced it. Um, now I guess it's good to go. So I'm just going to test it right away. Okay, I have connected it. Um, before mounting it back, I want to connect it this way just to test to make sure it's working before connecting it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Even without turning on the engine, you can feel it. It's back on. You can hear the sound of the fan. Okay, so. All I did was to replace the thermal fuse in it and it's good to go. Thank you. <laughs>